So now Kevin Federline has done the unthinkable because Britney responded to his interview he did where he claims that he has photos and videos that were taken in her home by their children. And that's the reason why her kids don't want anything to do with her. And he decided to post an illegally recorded clip from her children of Britney yelling at them. But before we get into it, here's a clip of Kevin talking about these images and these videos that he has well they they started sending me videos and certain things that they were like look i'm telling you that this is happening now i'm going to go ahead and play a couple of the clips that he has posted because honestly guys if i thought they were bad i wouldn't play them for you but like i just think it's insane that he felt compelled and like allowed to do that like why would you even go to this point where you would go and put these on the internet because it's not only throwing her children online but throwing their personal life so there's a total of three clips i think i'll play two of them for you guys so here's one of those clips that i had they, all, all they thought I, something was wrong with me because i had sis your your boobs are poking out you have come in here when we're trying to go to bed and then you just go and you it's say it's my house if i forget something then i know this is my house if I want to come in here and give you lotion for your face because it is coarse and all you tell me, no, it's fine, it's fine. No, it's not fine. You all better start respecting me. Are we clear? Yeah. And when Robin calls and you're all, you're all, even Robin's a fucking kid. She goes, what have you been doing to your kids? You're all, you all need to start treating me like a woman with worth. I am a woman. Okay. Be nice to me. Do you understand? Yeah. So honestly, Brittany just sounds like a normal mom there, like trying to get her son to put some moisturizer on. And it just seems like a video at home. Like if this is the worst that he has, then um, he was buffing in that interview. Here's another one of those clips. I do care, but I'm shocked as fuck with you. And I don't know what to do. And I'm scared of you because you're weird because you're going through puberty. I don't know what to say, but I do care more than you know. But don't be... My little body can't handle all of that. There's like sometimes I just don't even know what to say with you. I was in shock and I do care. No, you don't. If you really cared, you wouldn't take my phone away for literally. I was in shock in the store when I looked down and Jaden, how are you so cool about that? Your brother being with Bear's big feet, size 13 now? Well, he's my brother. And all the more exposed his feet, your blood in an ice cream shop in, in, in Alaska weather. Don't you think that's a little odd? No. Uh, yeah, I think your phone should be gone. Uh, okay. Yeah, for a very long time. Uh, yeah, for not wearing shoes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Shock. So again, Brittany just seems like a normal mom here, and I don't think there's anything to be worried about. It honestly seems like she's trying to protect her kids. So if this was so bad, I just don't know why Kevin posted this one. Like he should have posted something way worse if it was so bad over in her home. So let's go ahead and read Brittany's response. The situation should have 100% been dealt with privately and definitely not online. A British network claimed that their stepmom's goal is to keep my children away from all the controversy and trauma in my home. I have love in my home and I have blessings from people I allow in and out of my home. I looked forward to seeing my kids every week. It was two days a week, but I asked them to stay more like three days but then the next week they stayed for one day yeah i know that teenagers are just hard to deal with at that age but come on there's being rude then there's being hateful they would visit me walk in the door and go straight to the room and lock the door the monitor would tell me that he just likes to be in his room i'm like why come visit me if they don't even visit me but i never said that because i have to be kind remember if i speak up as a woman or say anything argumentative like i did with with a dance move saying no to it, I got sent to that place for four months. So do I dare speak up and show my upward thoughts of being a real woman and possibly offend the person in front of my face? No, I take it and I keep my mouth shut. It registers right in the core of my stomach. It hurts and I want to scream. I want to shake their shoulders and say, wake up, I'm here too. The teenage age is weird. I don't know what's going on in their heads. We would 
always do prayer time, not really prayer time, that sounds silly, but it's called devotion, where you read two or three pages in a prayer book and talk about it. I always tried and tried, and maybe that's why they stopped coming here. I wanted them to love me so much that I may have overdone it. I called their dad and told him that it seems like the boys are wanting to stop coming here as much, which I get because they have their own thing going on, but I feel like they're being pretty harsh. His words were, I would never let them make that decision on their own. I would never do that to you. Well, after that, I haven't seen them since. I will say, though, as available as I had to be for eight people a day when my dad took me out of my home for four months, it's been kind of nice not having to ask which day the boys are coming this week and making me wait two or three days for a reply. But again, it's just another way for my family to make me feel like absolutely nothing. Quote, we will let you know, Ma, and quote, when can we see you? So as much as you watch what he refers to his family as the perfect Brady bunch, I can guarantee you that house has more weed than Ludacris, 50 Cent, Jay-Z, and Puff Daddy combined. Oh my gosh, that is so shady. He wants to bring up my past with that bald-headed pecker head face Kaplan oh my gosh his lawyer and circle back to that hard time in my life that was almost 20 years ago their game doesn't work anymore in those years of the conservatorship I had to become an effing saint with the pain I had to endure by keeping my mouth shut in my stomach as they literally took my womanhood away from me Mm, makes me think of the IUD that they forced into her, but I made up for the past mistakes and more in that time. My sister does it. She speaks up in her household and corrects people, but how come whenever I did it, I was considered a threat? Oh crap, he might have to get involved with this one, but if he did, he would say, sit down, we need to talk. First thing was always, nobody likes you. Then the rest of it was, I guess, due to whatever I said. It was basically, how dare I say something to offend others and make them think for a change? It breaks my my heart because it seems to me that these days cruelty does in fact win, although it's not about winning or losing, but I can't process how I dedicated 20 years of my life to those kids. Everything was about them. For them to knock the breath out of me, see, you can't fix me. No therapy or sense of worship can fix my heart. I will forever have trauma and I know this. I've accepted it. It would take a miracle to fix my heart and not one miracle, maybe three. Either way, I have a beautiful pull, a supportive husband, and five dogs. Okay, I'm much but that's how I love. Have a good day. So that's a lot to take in, but it seems like Brittany does acknowledge there's a rift between herself and her children, and that's what's been going on here. But I cannot, like look away from Kevin Federline's shady past because back in 2007, there was a point where he was supposedly sleeping with Britney's mom, Lynn. I mean, TMZ even reported on this. And if you want to pause the screen and read these screenshots, it's pretty damning. So this guy is just bad news in my opinion. And currently he's got himself in trouble. Supposedly the IRS is looking for Kevin Federline because he owes about $57,000 in taxes. So um, he must be taking that child support money and just spending it and uh, not paying his taxes. So this guy is honestly bad news, and he's probably doing this interview to help Jamie Spears and to make a little bit of money. So ultimately, what was the point of him sharing those clips? I mean, they're from when the kids were 11 and 12 years old. They're just super dated. I mean, Brittany posted that response, then deleted it. Then he posted those clips. So I guess in, it's in response to her posting that. So we'll see if anyone actually picks up on it, because not a lot of people are talking about these video clips. But I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in a new video soon. Bye, guys.